Bibles. Si tiene su Biblia. And if you don't have your Bibles, you can follow along with me on the screen. Um, y si no tiene su Biblia, puede seguir conmigo en la pantalla. Um, it, we're going to read this. Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. Lucas capítulo 24. Like we mentioned today, today is Easter Sunday. Hoy es el día de Pascua, Resurrection Day, el día de Resurrección. Did you know that the most important person to have ever lived on this earth is Jesus Christ? Usted sabía, conocía que la persona más importante que ha vivido, existido en este mundo es el Señor Jesucristo. There is more books written about Jesus than any other person. Hay más libros escritos de Jesucristo que cualquier otra persona. There is more songs written about Jesus than any other person. Hay más cantos escritos de cualquier otra persona. There is more pieces of artwork. Hay más retratos, más pinturas que, que se han hecho por los años de cualquier otra persona. No hay ninguna figura en toda historia. There is not a figure in all of history more important than Jesus Christ más importante del Señor Jesucristo anybody believe that today alguien lo cree conmigo that Jesus is the reason for everything Jesucristo es la razón y la fundación de para todo today we celebrate Easter hoy celebramos este día de resurrección the reason we really celebrate, la razón por que lo celebramos, because everything rests on the person of Jesus Christ. Todo está sobre Jesús. Todo se trata de Él. Our two most important days in the calendar, los días del calendario más importantes que festejamos, the days that we celebrate, holidays, are Christmas and Easter. Son Navidad y el Día de Pascua. Which signify the birth of Jesus, que significan el nacimiento de Jesús, and the resurrection of Jesus, el día de resurrección. Even our calendar year, aún también nuestro año de calendario. We're in the year 2021, estamos en el año 2021. Before Jesus, there was a BC, antes de Jesús, se llamaba antes de Cristo. Las fechas eran así. And after Jesus y después de Jesús, we say 2,000 years after, two, decimos 2,000 años, A.D., 2021 A.D., in the year of our Lord. Año Domini, which is a Latin word, means in, in the year of our Lord. Que significa año Domini, que es en el año del Señor. So everything revolves around Jesus. Todo eh, se trata de Jesús. Everything that we do. Is about Jesus. Todo se trata de Jesús. Our story, our Western civilization. Nuestra civilización de, 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 del oeste que tenemos ahorita en este momento. Has been propelled. Se ha, se ha, se ha conmovido por el poder del de cristianismo. Through the power of Christianity. Because of the writings and the teachings of Jesus. Por lo que gente escribieron y, y lo, lo que Jesús dijo. That's why people have been encouraged to do what they do even now to this day. Por eso han sido animados. Our civilization, our society is structured on what Jesus founded. Nuestra sociedad está estructurado por como Cristo lo fundó. De los pensamientos de él. He wasn't just a prophet. No solamente era profeta. He wasn't just a good person. No solamente era buena persona. But he was our savior that came to this earth. Es nuestro salvador que vino a esta tierra. We believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. Creemos que Jesús es el hijo de Dios. Anybody believe that today? Alguien lo cree conmigo. You can't deny that. No lo puedes negar. He is God with us, Emmanuel. Él es Dios con nosotros, Emmanuel. He was born of a virgin, nació de un virgen, lived a sinless life for 33 years. Vivió una vida sin pecado por 33 años. He preached, él predicaba, él enseñaba, he teached, he did miracles, hizo milagros, he healed the sick, sanó el enfermo. He predicted even his own death. Él predicía su muerte, él sabía lo que iba a pasar. He knew what was going to happen. He was the one that people had waited for thousands of years prior. 
They knew that a Messiah would come and he was the one that fulfilled every prophecy. Él era la persona que cumplió todas las promesas, todas las profecías que gente hablaban por años antes, miles de años antes. Y él cumplió cada promesa y profecía. Alguien lo cree conmigo, anybody believe that? It's Jesus, it's all about him. And Jesus was crucified for us. Y Jesucristo fue crucificado por nosotros. Today I want to read Luke chapter 24. Quiero leer Lucas capítulo 24. It says on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, uh, the women took the spices they had prepared and they went Uh, to the tomb. El primer día de la semana, dice así, muy de mañana, las mujeres fueron al sepulcro, le llevaron las especias aromáticas que habían preparado, versículo 2, verse 2, they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Encontraron que había sido quitada la piedra que cubría el sepulcro. Did you know you can find places where other people, ancient people have died? Puedes encontrar lugares donde gente de, desde muchos años han, han muerto. And where they've been buried, donde han estado enterrado por años. There's burial sites for Abraham. Hay lugares de entierro por Abraham. There's, there's burial sites for Mohammed. Hay lugares de entierro por de Mohammed. There, there's burial sites for, 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 for Buddha. Hay, hay, hay lugares de entierro por Buddha. But you cannot find, pero no puedes encontrar un lugar de entierro de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. You cannot find a burial site for our Jesus Christ. If someone were to say, this is the tomb that we think it was, it's just an idea. Si alguien dice que yo pienso que este es el sepulcro donde Jesucristo fue enterrado, solamente es una idea. It's just an example. Solamente es un ejemplo. We don't know where he was buried. No conocemos donde fue enterrado. And this is why Jesus is real. Por esto Cristo vive. Because no one would have cared to, to make a shrine out of a place that was empty. Nadie podía hacer un monumento en un lugar que estaba vacío. Because our Christ is alive. Porque nuestro Cristo, Él vive. He's alive. He says when they entered, they didn't find the body of Jesus. Cuando Cristo, cuando entraron y al entrar, no hallaron el cuerpo del Señor Jesús. They didn't find anything. Imagine you're, you're, you're wanting to put spices. Estás listo para poner perfume, especias y no encuentras nada. You can't deny because they see it right here. It says while they were wondering about this, verse 4. Suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. Mientras se preguntaban qué habría pasado, se les presentaron dos hombres con ropas resplandecientes. It says, in their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? Asustadas se postraron sobre su rostro. Pero ellos les dijeron, ¿por qué buscan ustedes entre los muertos al que vive? Today, I want to just share, just really quick, uh, uh, as it's using as a subject, uh, using as a title. Quiero usar un título hoy. No longer dead. Ya no está muerto. Anybody believe that? Alguien lo cree conmigo. If you can believe that, just give God a round of applause today, this morning. You say, God, you're no longer dead. Ya no estás muerto. And you know what? Maybe apply it to yourself. I'm no longer the dead person I used to be. Ya no soy la persona muerta que yo antes era. I'm not the drug addict I used to be. Yo no soy drogadicto que yo antes era. I'm not the alcoholic I used to be. Ya no soy el alcohólico que yo antes era. I'm not the person at the clubs that I used to be. Ya no soy la persona en los antros que yo antes era. I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that that person every night that man was crying and weeping out to Jesus. Oh, yo no soy esa persona que estaba clamando y llorando cada noche. I'm not that person in depression anymore. Yo no soy esa persona en depresión. I'm not that person in anxiety anymore. Esa persona en ansiedad anymore. Because I know my purpose in life. Yo conozco mi propósito en la vida. And I'm no longer dead anymore. Ya no estoy muerto. There's a world out there that is dead. Hay mundo que está muerto. But us as Christians, we are alive and well today. Nosotros como cristianos, estamos vivos hoy. 
Porque Cristo vive, because Jesus Christ lives in us. He lives, and the same power that raised Christ from the dead, it lives us in us right now. El mismo poder que resucitó Cristo de la muerte, Él vive en nosotros. Alguien lo cree conmigo, anybody believe that? Ya no está muerto, no longer dead. No longer dead. When I think about this past year, cuando pienso del año pasado, our church started about a year and a half ago. <laughs> Nuestra iglesia empezó hace un año y medio. And right about three weeks before Easter of last year, um, tres semanas antes de nuestro servicio de Pascua, we were getting ready. Estamos preparando todo. We were excited. Estamos bien emocionados. This little thing called a, um, COVID came. Esta cosa pequeña <laughs> que se llama COVID. Y no es pequeña. Uh, no, no lo digo para deshonrar a, a la gente que han muerto. Um, I, I don't say that to, you know, it's just this thing that's, that has been upon us. It's been a weight on our shoulders. Ha sido una carga sobre nosotros este último año. Anybody believe that? Alguien lo cree conmigo. And about half of us in here, y como la mitad de nosotros aquí en este lugar, we've had suffered through it, hemos sufrido por eso. We've we've gone um, actually physically we we were we we had the the virus several of us half of us in here como la mitad de nosotros también sufrimos y y contraímos el virus en un tiempo. Some of us have lost people. Algunos han perdido personas because of the virus. And thankfully, we could say that some of them are even in heaven today. Podemos dar gracias que algunos están en el cielo hoy. It's been a difficult year for many. And, and last year, just before, before, before Easter, we were all in quarantine. We were all locked up. Empezando el año, en el marzo, ya todos estábamos en cuarentena. Y el día de resurrección, estábamos en casa. Our first church's Sunday Easter service was at my house on camera. Nuestro primer servicio de Día de Resurrección fue en mi casa, viendo a una cámara. Preaching, predicando. And I look at the past year, veo el, lo que ha pasado en el, en el, en el último año. I can name more people. Puedo decir, aunque hemos perdido mucha gente, even though we've lost more people. We've lost a lot of people. I can name more people healed from a virus than people who have died from a virus. Yo puedo decir y proclamar que hay más personas sanos hoy de un virus que han muerto de un virus. Many of us were near death. Algunos aquí que conocemos, también gente que conocemos, ya estamos al punto de la muerte. We were already at the place of death. We were already, some of us were in the hospital. Algunos estamos en el hospital. Some of us are on ventilators. Algunos conocemos a alguien que estaba usando un ventilador. Some of us have been through other traumatic instances. There's been people who have heart attacks, people with strokes. Hay personas que con embolias y ataques de corazón y diferentes problemas. People have had car accidents. Personas han tenido accidentes de carro. And, and every single one of us has gone through a trial or tribulation in the past year. Cada uno de nosotros hemos pasado por una batalla o tribulación en el último año. How many know it's been rough? ¿Cuántos saben que ha sido duro y pesado muchas veces? But at the end of the day, at the end of it all, al final del todo el día, al final de todo lo que ha pasado, my trust and my hope is in Jesus. Mi confianza está en Cristo. Whatever happens, whether it's death, whether it's pain, whether it's struggle, no importa lo que pasa, que si, quizás es la muerte, dolor, la lucha, que, las batallas que enfrentamos. At the end of the day, I know the one who has the power of, 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 of life. Yo conozco el que tiene el poder de vida. I know the one who defeated death, death, hell, and the grave. Yo conozco el que, el que sobrevenció la muerte, el infierno, el, el enterramiento. Yo conozco a mi Jesús. I know my Jesus. And so I don't look for death. Excuse me, I don't look for life among the dead. Yo no busco la vida entre los muertos. I, 
because I know my hope is in Jesus, I look for my life where there's life that lives. Yo veo, busco vida en el lugar donde hay algo vivo. Many people in this world, they look for life among the dead things. Hay muchos que buscan vida en cosas muertas. Can I tell you, can I submit to you today? Te puedo someter hoy y desafiarte hoy. Now's the time to stop looking towards the dead things. Ya deja de mirar a las cosas muertas and start looking for life in the power of Jesus. Y busca vida en el nombre de Jesús. No longer dead. Many of us should have been dead already. Muchos de nosotros ya hubiéramos sido muertos. I look around this room. I know plenty of us have gone through a lot. Yo conozco muchos que han pasado por mucho. Y cuando veo el poder de Dios, when I look at the power of God, they said here, verse 6, versículo 6, dijeron, he is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. Can I tell you, Jesus already knew what was going to happen before it happened. Cristo ya sabía lo que iba a pasar antes que, que ocurrió. Versículo 6 dice, no está aquí, ha resucitado. Recuerden lo que le dijo, les dijo cuando todavía estaba con ustedes en Galilea. The son of man must be delivered over to the hands of sinner, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. El hijo del hombre tiene que ser entregado en manos de hombres pecadores y ser crucificado, pero al tercer día resucitará. Then they remembered his words. They remembered his words. Entonces ellas se recordaron de las palabras de Jesús. Can I tell you, can you remember his words today? Puedes recordar. Sus palabras. God has spoken words of truth over your life. Dios ha hablado palabras de verdad sobre tu vida. And some of you are looking at the words of death that someone else have told you. Algunos están enfocando más. You're focusing more. Te estás enfocando más en las palabras de muerte de alguien que dijo hace años. Of what someone told you. And can I tell you, once you remember the words that Jesus has spoken over you. Cuando tú te recuerdas de las palabras que Cristo te ha dicho sobre tu vida. You forget the person that people talk to you about a, a, a long time ago. Te olvidas de la persona que tú fuiste antes. Man, they said, oh man, you're the person that slept around. La persona que se dormía con cualquier persona. Uh, you're the person that drunk all every night. La persona que you're, you're no good for nothing. You were a mistake. You were an accident. Tú fuiste un fracaso, un accidente. Uh, you're, you're not someone that, that's never going to amount to nothing. Tú, tú no vas a nunca sumar a algo grande. And can I tell you, when you remember the words of what Jesus said, that you are his child, you are his daughter, you are his son. Cuando te recuerdes las palabras que Cristo dijo sobre tu vida, tú eres el hijo, hija de él. You, he, that has power and in and of itself, eso tiene poder en eso mismo, and we have to trust in God that his words will finish God will finish what he started Dios va a terminar lo que él empezó y tenemos que confiar en su palabra, we have to trust in his word it says when they came back to the tomb verse 9 they told all these things to the 11 and to all the others Al regresar del sepulcro, les contaron todas estas cosas a, las, a los once y a todos los demás. Versículo 10. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, the mother of James, Mary, the mother of James, and the others with them that who were told this to the disciples. Las mujeres eran María Magdalena, Juana, la cubana, María, just making sure you're still paying attention, la, María, la madre de Jacobo. Y las demás que nos los acompañaron. The first person that was named is a woman named Mary Magdalene. I'll tell you two points I want to share from this point right here, this little verse. One, dos puntos que quiero hacer de este versículo. Número uno, we wouldn't know about the resurrection of Jesus if it wasn't for women. No, no, no conociéramos hoy la resurrección de Dios si no fuera por mujeres. Now, this was a time period. Este fue una etapa, una época donde las mujeres fueron menos menos del hombre. 
They were, women were put down less than men. Uh, most women didn't know how to read. Muchas de las mujeres ni sabían a leer. Um, ni eran educadas. They weren't educated. But it's interesting how God used women to tell his story. Es interesante como Dios usó a mujeres para proclamar su historia. Can I tell you that God still uses women today? Que Dios todavía usa mujeres hoy. Anybody believe that? Alguien lo cree conmigo. Hopefully a woman says amen to that. I'm glad we have great women in this church. Me, me, me encanta que tenemos grandes mujeres de Dios en esta iglesia. Women worship leaders, women preachers, um, mujeres que predican y cantan. Uh, people, women that can be in leadership. And, and here's what God is doing. He's telling us that he uses women, but he, he wants to focus on one woman. There's a couple women, but hay algunas mujeres que Dios está enfocando en esta escritura. Pero hay una que dice así, María Magdalena, Mary Magdalene. Now, in the Bible, it tells us Mary was a good friend of, of Jesus. Maria Magdalena era una buena amiga de Jesús. But Mary had a testimony. Maria tenía un testimonio. Many, many people think that she was a, probably a prostitute. Muchos piensan que ella posiblemente era una prostituta, dice la Biblia. She had a past. Ella tenía un pasado. She, the Bible even declares that she had seven demons inside of her. La Biblia también dice que ella tenía siete demonios adentro de ella que Dios expulsó, that God expelled out of her. And the very first person at the tomb mentioned, la primera mujer mencionada en el, tu, en el sepulcro de Jesús, en la tumba, is Mary, María. That tells me that God can save anybody. That God, Dios puede cambiar cualquier persona. I don't care how jacked up you think your life is. No importa que con tan errores que tú piensas que tu vida es, que tan que que tanto lo has regado en tu vida, Dios todavía te ama. God still loves you. And if Mary Magdalene, the most messed up girl of all time, María Magdalena, una persona que le ha regado tanto. She can find the resurrection power of God. Ella puede encontrar el poder de resurrección de Cristo. Anyone in this room can find it as well. Cualquier persona en este lugar lo puede encontrar también mismo. Anybody believe that alguien lo cree conmigo? I've seen broken people. Yo he visto gente quebrantada. People that have killed. Personas que han matado. People that have been addicted. Gente adictado. I've seen people that marriages that have fallen apart. Matrimonios ya están a la quebrada. And God has restored them. Y Dios los ha restaurado. And they were the ones that told the apostles about Jesus. Ellos fueron las que personas. Dicen así, it says verse 11, but they did not believe the women. How many know that still happens today? We don't even believe the women. <laughs> it says, because their words seemed to them like nonsense. It dice así, versículo 11, pero a los discípulos, el relato les pareció una tontería. Spanish sounds a lot worse. <laughs> así que no les creyeron. It sounded ridiculous. Se escuchaba ridículo. For all the women here, just keep preaching and testifying for what God can do. Sigue testificando, predicando lo que Dios puede hacer. Because it says here, Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. Dice, si Pedro, sin embargo, salió corriendo al sepulcro. Se asomó y vio solo las vendas de lino. Luego volvió a su casa extrañando de lo que había sucedido. Now Peter is this person. Pedro. Esta persona, muchos han dicho que es el discípulo que más, más cercano a Jesús. Many say that he was one of the closest, one of the inner three, uno de los tres primeros, siempre mencionados, que amaban a Jesús. Peter, the Bible tells us last week, la semana pasada hablamos, que había dos discípulos que lo traicionaron. There were two that, that betrayed Jesus. One that was Judas, uno que era Judas, who at this point has hung himself. A este punto, él se ha matado, colgado. But then there's Peter, the one that had denied Jesus three times. Hay Pedro, el que 
negó a Jesús tres veces. Peter is here. And I can imagine Peter, me imagino Pedro, escuchando las noticias. Have you ever felt a deep sense of regret? ¿Has sentido un pensamiento de, de pensando que no puedo volver atrás? I can't go back. Ever have someone pass away and you know, wish you could say something to them? Alguien ha tenido alguien que, que fallecieron y, y si pudiera regresar atrás, if I could say this, this, and this, and this. Now in this life it's not possible, but thankfully God, we have eternal life to be able to be able to say whatever we want when we get to heaven to each other. And this is why heaven is important. Por eso el cielo es tan importante. Because we have an opportunity to tell the people we've lost here how much we continue to love them even in the, in the next life and this is why we want all of our friends and families to know Jesus y por eso queremos toda nuestra familia nuestros amigos conocer a Jesús porque en la próxima vida en la vida eterna si todos vamos allá ahí vamos a tener tiempo para platicar y conversar uno con otro and Peter he's he, he's he's probably in somewhat of a depression Quizás él está en un poco de depresión. Because he hasn't had, he, he doesn't believe it for himself. No lo cree él mismo. And it says he ran to the tomb. Él corrió. I mean, I imagine it's, it's early in the morning, it's temprano en la mañana. He put his sandals on, se puso las chanclas, and he just ran. I mean, he, he, he got them, you know. He ran, he got to the tomb, llegó al sepulcro. So I want to see it for myself. All the other disciples are saying, you're crazy. Todos los otros discípulos están diciendo, es una locura, una tontería. ¿Cómo crees? How do you, I, I don't believe it. I, I, don't, I, I don't see it happening. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't trust it. But here's Peter. He runs. El corre. Can I tell you? I want. I wish we would have that kind of faith in God. Quisiera que nosotros podemos tener ese fe en Dios que we would just run to Him. Que hemos correr, podemos correr hacia él, and we can run to His altar. Correr hacia el altar, and we can run to His presence. Correr hacia su presencia, and and and, and maybe we. Everyone needs a, a different type of proof. Quizás todos necesitan algo diferente, una evidencia diferente. For some of you, you believe it right away and you receive it. Para algunos, lo crees. Some of you, because of the struggle you've been through, otros por la lucha que has pasado, por las batallas de la vida, from the battles of life, that's why you believe God. Por eso crees en Dios. Some of you are like Thomas, otros son como Tomás. I need to see his hands. I need to see his feet. Tengo que ver sus manos y su costado y sus pies. I need to see it for myself. Can I tell you, no matter where you at in the faith journey with God, no importa donde estás en la jornada de tu fe con Dios, God will show you who he is and will continue to show you his power all throughout every moment if you would look for him. Dios te va a demostrar su poder y él mismo si sigues buscándolo a él anybody believe that with me alguien lo cree conmigo so whether you showed up to church two weeks ago si te llegaste a la iglesia hace dos semanas or you've been in church your entire life o si has estado en la iglesia toda tu vida we know that God is going to continue to show up for us Dios va a seguir Demonstrando su poder para nosotros. We're no longer dead. No, ya no estamos muertos. How many believe that we're no longer dead today? Ya no estamos muertos hoy. 
that Christ is alive today. Dios está vivo hoy. And because of his life y por su vida. That's why we're here today. Por eso estamos aquí presentes hoy. Because of who he is. Por, por quien él es. This is why we have today. I want to invite you to bow your heads and close your eyes. Quiero que invitarte a cerrar tus ojos. Cada rostro inclinado. Maybe you're here today. And maybe, gosh, you don't know where your life is going. Quizás que dices, no sé dónde va mi vida. No sé dónde voy. Because the truth is, there's a heaven and a hell. La verdad es, hay un cielo, hay un infierno. And if our life is not right with God, then we're going to spend an eternity in hell. Si nuestra vida no está bien con el Señor, vamos a, 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 a ir al infierno un día. But you're like, George, how can that happen? He says, George, ¿por qué? ¿cómo puede ser eso? Isn't, isn't God good? No, no, Dios es bueno. Dios es bueno. No, no, Dios, no me puede enviar al infierno. Because God is good, He can only allow the righteous to enter the kingdom of God. Porque Dios es bueno. Él solamente, Él deja el justificado entrar al reino de los cielos. Because God is perfect. Porque Dios es perfecto. And that's why Jesus, and that's why we need Christ. Y por eso necesitamos Cristo. The sinless, perfect Savior. El que era sin pecado. El Dios perfecto, el Salvador perfecto. I want to give you an opportunity today to get to know him. Yo quiero darte una oportunidad a conocerlo. Today, with every head bowed and every eye closed, I want you to examine your life. Yo, con cada ojo cerrado y cada rostro inclinado, yo quiero que examines tu vida. I'm not asking you if you go to church. No te estoy preguntando si vas a una iglesia. I'm asking you, do you know Jesus? Te estoy preguntando, ¿conoces a Jesús? And if you're here today and you say, I, I, I want to get to know Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Yo quiero conocer a Jesús como mi Salvador personal. Why don't you just lift up your hand with me? I want to pray with you. Yo quiero orar por ti. ¿Por qué no levantas tus manos conmigo? You say, I want to get to know Jesus. I want to know Jesus. I see those hands over here. I see those hands. Give us those manos. Anyone else in this room? I want to pray over you today. So I messed up. Yo, yo he hecho mis errores. Yo me he alejado de Dios. I, I've, I've, I, I've let go of God. I want to get to know Jesus. Quiero, quiero conocer a Cristo. Anyone else want to lift up your hands today? Quieres levantar tu mano y decir, Señor. Aquí estoy, Señor. Aquí estoy. We just lift up our hands today. I want to pray for you today. If you lifted up your hands today, si tú levantaste tus manos hoy, I want to pray everyone in this room. Why, why don't you just pray this prayer with me? ¿Por qué no ores esta oración conmigo? Say, Father God. Just repeat after me. Say, Father God. God, I, I ask you to come into my life. God, I know that I've sinned. I know that I've messed up. But I know that you came to die on a cross for me. Every sin was nailed to that cross. And you resurrected three days later. And that resurrection power that raised you from the dead lives in me today. Come into my life, Jesus. Change my life. I want to know you. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Can we give God a round of applause this morning for everyone that... Incredible. This morning, we're going to worship. And at the end of our worship, we're going to present an opportunity to get baptized. And at the end of worship time, you feel like, man, God is leading you to get baptized. We, 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 we want to, we're going to worship here at the end right now. We're going to, the band's going to lead us in a song. But at the end of our worship time, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to baptize anyone who's open uh, to get baptized this morning. Vamos a bautizar a cualquier persona que quiere ser bautizado en esta mañana. 
We give you a shirt. Just go talk to us in the back during the worship song. Habla con nosotros. And stick around. At the end, we have some treats for you guys. Al final, tenemos algo especial, cosas especiales. Stick around. Um, you know, get de aquí. No, no se vaya tan pronto. Uh, because we, at the end of service, we'll be giving away some paletas and some, and some treats as well. But let's stand to our feet into, into worship. Vamos a ponernos de pie para adorar al Señor. Let's just lift up our hands. ¿Por qué no alzamos nuestra mano? And maybe, let's come to this altar. ¿Por qué no venimos a este altar? Y dile, Señor, aquí estoy. I'm here. Why don't we just lift up our hands and say, God, you're here. Time and time. time again, you have proven. Do just what you said. Though the storms may come and winds may blow up. Thank you. 